Hello and welcome to the latest video in the FPV Antenna Lab series. Now this one is all around antenna alignment. Now I've done a couple of videos on these subjects already. Did one around Crossfire where I talked about the impact of antenna alignment and antenna placement on the model and I've also talked about some of the best options when using things like tiny whoops that have these kind of small linear antennas on top. If they have a linear antenna then you need a linear antenna and something like a linear patch on your goggles. But one of the things that I've been told, uh, but I've never actually tested, is the impact of rotating the antennas out of phase. Now, in a circular polarized antenna, the idea is, is the signal is radiated in kind of a big ball, but with a linear antenna, getting them out of phase reduces the amount of signal drastically. And I've never actually tested that. So I need to say a big thank you to Menace RC that have built a rig to test this, both for circular polarized antennas and for linear antennas to see what the difference is when you move the antennas out of alignment. Now I'll put a link down below for Menace RC. I use their antennas pretty much exclusively here because they work really well. So what Greg and Menace has done is created this little rig where it's rotating the active element around the axis and it's marked off in 10 degree increments. So we can start off with the antennas perfectly aligned as they're supposed to be and then rotate them through 10 degree increments and on his very high end test equipment we can see the impact on the received signal. Now if I just put the results up and show you all the testing, then this is what they look like. So you can see here that as the angle goes from 0 to 90 degrees, that linear antenna drops off quite alarmingly. The omnidirectional antenna seems to stay more or less about the same. In fact, in some orientations, just dependent on how the, the power has been radiated, it's slightly better. So if I graph those out, then there we go. You can see that the green line is the omnidirectional circular polarized antenna, and that pretty much maintains the signal all the way through the rotation. And that is why these antennas are so good for quadcopters that are flipping and rolling around. Even if they're upside down or at a wacky angle, you still get a great reception. But looking at the red line, which is the linear antenna, you can see that it very quickly starts to drop off, ending up at minus 20.7 dB difference. Now that is an awful lot. But if you remember from last time, there's this kind of uh, gain power range graph that Menace RC created, which kind of gives you an idea of the ratio between the power level and the range. So if you increase the power by four times, it gives you twice the range. If you increase the power by eight times, it gives you four times the range. Similarly, if you quarter the power, it gives you half the range, etc., etc. Now, if I just draw a couple of lines across at the 6 dB, 12 dB and 18 dB lines, then those represent a quarter of the power, an eighth of the power, and a sixteenth of the power, which is a very small percentage indeed. And if we look at roughly where those line up, you can see that we have a 6 dB loss at just before 40 degrees, and 6 dB is going to give you half the range. So if you have your antenna on the model flying at 40 degrees out of phase, linear antennas 40 degrees out of phase, you're going to be about half the range compared to when they're perfectly aligned. Similarly, with 12 dB, you're going to get a quarter of the range and at 18 dB, you're going to get about an eighth of the distance that you would do if both antennas were perfectly aligned. But it does show you how quickly it drops off with linear antennas, and it reinforces the fact that if you are going to be flying around, circular polarized antennas give you a better reception, irrespective of how they are aligned. Whereas with a linear antenna, you have to be super careful about making sure that they are ideally within 30, 40 degrees of each other to give you the decent signal. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. 
If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.